All right, so an ordered pair that is a solution to this equation is any point x, y that makes this a true statement. And so we can identify the we can identify an ordered pair by picking a value for either x or y and then plugging it in to see what the other one has to be to make it true. So for example, let's uh, let's take x is equal to 2. Right, so then we would have 2y is equal to 2 times x, which we've said is 2, minus 6. Right, so we'd have 2y is equal to 4 minus 6. 2y is equal to negative 2. y equals negative 1. Right, and then alternatively, we could instead, we could have picked a value for y. Um, and solved for x. So for instance, if we had picked 3, we would have had 2 times y, which now we're saying is 3, is equal to 2 times x, which we're trying to find, minus 6. So 2 times 3 gives us 6 equals 2x minus 6. Add 6 over, and we get 12 is equal to 2x. So x is equal to 6. And so this would be two ordered pairs that are solutions to this equation. One thing I feel I should mention is I did say, while I did say that we could have picked values for either x or y, and in these examples we picked a value for x and a value for y, it is, um, it is more customary to just pick values for x and then see what y comes out to be. But although although uh, picking a value for y and solving for x, it's not customary, it is still doable.